This chart is Align Technologies. Now look at the drop on earnings. The stock yesterday closed at approximately, let's see, it closed yesterday at around 253. It is currently trading at $195, folks. That is an incredible drop. 20, basically 25% drop on this name. Now you have to say, what do you do here? Is it a no-brainer buy? Is it like, holy cow, we gotta stay away from this company? Well, to understand that, we go to the daily chart. Let's go to the time frames, right? So the first thing I see when I bring up the daily chart is that, wow, so this stock, you're telling me this stock was $410 up here, $420, and yesterday it closed at 253, and now it's trading at $195. That is a massive move down. In addition, it was already getting oversold on the metrics of the RSI and other factors. So, what does this mean? Well, it doesn't guarantee you a win, I'll tell you that much. But, you now start looking for technical levels where the stock is approximately trading or just below to see if there's a swing trade opportunity here. Okay, so, what we do to do that is, what we should do is zoom out. So what we do is, and you can see a trend line here already, is if we zoom out, we have this pivot low, which was the, the COVID low. We connect it through this pivot low, and look at this. What price is this? $190 to $95, okay? So now we have a basis for a technical reason why this could be interesting in this level. And I wanna say this again, this is not financial advice. I am speaking about what I am looking at, what I may do, not what you should do. You guys, again, you decide all your stuff on your own. But the other thing that I like about this, right, is that if this level even breaks, where's your next support? Because you always wanna be defensive. And I think I've said this to you guys before in these game plans, I literally go into a trade assuming I might lose. And by doing that, and by the way, a retail investor, just the general newbie, they're going to go into a trade always thinking they're going to win. They're like, oh man, I'm going to make a million dollars on this trade. I go in and I'm like, uh, uh, all right, we'll give it a shot here. Even though it's a good technical level, it might go lower, so let me be defensive. And that's why I do smaller position size where I can dollar cost average, because my mentality is different than the general public. It's the more defensive. And part, by the way, <laughs> part of that is that I've been burned so many times. Right? I mean, that's just the nature of it. When you get burned enough, you're a little bit more hesitant. You're not gonna jump off that cliff, you know, you know, thinking you're gonna be fine. So what I'm pointing out here is not only do we have this trend line, right? But we also have the double bottom right here, just below it, at around 180, 185. So my point is this, is you have double bottom here, you have the upsloping trend line here, and it starts to take shape that this stock may have, and I'm saying may because we don't know, may have good support anywhere between 195 and 180. Now, you're, you could say, wow, that's a $15 range. Well, but yes, but if you use, or if I use my dollar cost averaging metrics, then that's perfect. My first buy could be 195, then my next buy 190, then my next buy 185, my next buy 180, my average somewhere in this vicinity, let's say 188, and if this bounces back to 230, I'm golden, right? And that is the key there. So again, I don't know, you know, again, the, the earnings here, they, they warned, and by the way, there's so many warnings coming out here, which tells me economically, that, like I said, we're in trouble. But again, that's kind of the thought process that goes on in my mind.